Hi there YouTube, I wanted to do a quick haul video. This is a small haul, it's not a big haul, but I wanted to do this haul video so I could put everything away. I went to Target and Ulta. I've went a couple of times to Ulta and today I received an Ulta coupon for 20% off, which I was like, all right, but it said it didn't apply to fragrance, so that's a good thing. All right, so I'll just get started with my Ulta haul. Now, like I said, I went to Ulta a couple of times and I didn't include it in a haul video yet. But I did do a review, first impression. It was the uh, Bever Umberto Beverly Hills color, um, the U color, and I did do a review and first impression on it. So I will leave that link below if you want to check it out, my thoughts on it. I did get that, and I picked up a couple of other things in that same haul. I did get these little uh, spongy things, or I don't know what you would call them, loafahs, or... I don't know what you would consider them, but I did get two in a packet because I wanted to use this primarily for underarms. Okay, so sometimes I feel like I'm not getting a good clean, like my deodorant is sticking under my underarms. So I wanted to get something that was a little bit abrasive to, you know, clean them under my underarms. That's very hard to say. So I got two of them. Uh, what I can tell you is that on first application, it kind of gets bunched up and it doesn't really hold its, you know, shape very well, but it ha has been doing the job of giving me a clean feeling. If you hear that dog, that's my chihuahua. Okay, the same um, time that I went and got the hair color and that sponge, I got these sponges, these wedges, and I didn't get these for my face. I got them so I can try to do an ombre nail, That's and my nails are not even done, but that was my whole purpose of getting these little wedges here. And I was trying to meet my $10 because the Umberto Beverly Hills was $9.99. And of course you have to meet $10 in order to get $3.50 off. So basically it was like getting these two things for free. Okay. So then um, I went back yesterday because, excuse me, I'm sweating my booty off here. Um, on one of my shopping trips to Ulta, I had got a the Escada Back to Paradise perfume. I believe that's what it's called. And I picked up this um, color tattoo in leather, oh, the leather collection in dramatic black. I got this so I could use it as a base, and it's just a black color. Um, but I really wanted a black base that would last, and the color tattoos last. So the same time that I got the perfume, I got that tattoo. Now, I think I got something else, but I can't quite remember right offhand. Um, anyways, I took back that perfume yesterday. The smell on that was delicious. It was gorgeous. It was an awesome scent. It smelled like summer. It smelled like you were, you know, on the beach smelling plumerias and coconuts and, you know, suntan lotion. And it just, it smelled awesome. Problem with it was, it, the smell did not last. I would pump that sucker on me and later on I couldn't even smell it and the smell didn't last so I took it back and using my Ulta points when I purchased it I had gotten money off so I, I didn't get the money back which I understand but I feel like my points got, got kind of confused because that whole purchase I was able to get money back but the points went back off and it took it off of my platinum points. So I'm not sure if I got my whole points back, like, if it add, uh, honestly, I don't know. I feel like I kind of got screwed on the point system type thing, but, um, anyway, so yesterday I did purchase a perfume because I had, I've been wanting a new perfume, and, um, I saw on Beauty Zine, um, look up Beauty Zine, she has a great, uh, blog, um, and she's always, you know, reviewing things, and she had mentioned that Marc Jacobs was coming out with a new perfume. It's Daisy Dream, and to me, it's just a really nice, fresh scent. It kind of has, like, hints of, uh, like, fresh linen, plus the hints of, like, the old Daisy, plus a little bit on the fresher, you know, like, fruity side. So, anyways, I just got the one ounce, and that's actually all that was available at uh, Ulta. Was that actually? I was telling the girl behind the counter that I was gonna look for this or whatever. I really was gonna purchase this, and she didn't even know what it was. And then when I went back there, <laughs> there it was, and she didn't even know that they had it. So um, I just got the one ounce, and I think that's what I'm gonna do now with perfumes. Sometimes I feel like I need the biggest perfume bottle, but then. 
I get bored with the scent, so I switch to a new scent. So what's the point of having a 3.4 ounce just sit there and, and maybe possibly go bad when I could use the one ounce and possibly use it up? If I like it that much, I'll go back and repurchase it. But I will show you a perfume collection if you would like to see it. But I have a lot of perfumes. And I've actually um, sent a lot of perfumes via my little sister or um, to in, put into a garage sale because I have a lot of perfumes. So anyway, so I got that. With this, I don't know if it was because, you know, you just made a purchase or because I made a purchase, you know, that was <clears throat> over a certain amount of money. But I was able to get this Urban Decay Perversion um, Mascara Sample, which I thought was really cool. So, it's a nice deluxe sample. So, I got this Perversion Sample. I'm not going to open it up just because I have other mascaras that I'm trying to go through or trying to use or whatever. And then this nice big uh, Lorac Cobra mascara sample. And that's really, I mean, that's a substantial amount of fluid in here. This is 0.14 ounce sample, and this is a 0.1 ounce. So these are nice samples, but this Lorac, sorry, children, Lorac sample is really big. Okay, so I forgot to mention that um, on one of my Ulta trips, I don't know. So I got this was. vintage plum color. It's a matte color. Um, it kind of looks like a bruise, if you want to be honest. But I got this for the sole purpose of it also being a base for any of my taupes or purples. I think, you know, using a purple color as a base for my taupes or my purpley taupes or my... Um, purple colors because I love my purple eyeshadows. This will be, you know, it'll be fine because when you apply it, it kind of looks patchy. So this I don't think can be worn alone like a lot of color tattoos can, but as a base, I think it'll work great. Okay. And then the last thing I got um, from Ulta, I believe, was this um, Real Techniques, what do they call these? Miracle Complexion Sponge. I already have one. I love it. Um, so I went ahead and just picked up another one because, um, I love it that much. Okay, and then the last thing, oh, so I thought I had the last thing, but this is the last thing. Um, I thought that I could use my $350 off of $10 with the perfume and just a complexion sponge, but they said no, it doesn't apply towards fragrance. I spent, you know, 60 bucks. You would think that they would like say, okay, well, um, you can, you know, use that coupon because it would apply towards this, but I knew the perfume you don't get $350 off, but I have this also. So anyways, I had to go pick up and I ran around the store because she's like, do you want to get another one? I'm like, yes, I would love to get another one, but there's not one there. Why am I speaking so fast? Okay, so then I ended up getting this Rimmel Exaggerate. Uh, one of my friends, she would wear this with the Rimmel by Kate and 103 and it looks so pretty on her. So I was like, well, I've always turned it down. I've never picked it up. Might as well. Alright, so then that is the Ulta stuff. So then let me show you my Target stuff, which is kind of boring, but I might as well show you, right? Okay, so then I got these um, ultra thin long pads, but I thought it was cute is it came with a little um, bag here. So, got that. Uh, I got this hydrogen peroxide. This It's like a major bottle because I want to start swishing. If you don't know what swishing is, that's just swishing the hydrogen peroxide in your teeth and that will help it get white. 97 cents as opposed to doing the Crest white strips, which I've used and don't work very well on me. And I paid like 45, 50 bucks for those things. So I thought I'll try the swishing for a dollar. Um, one of the best mousses for my hair with my curls is the Suave Captivating Curls. I love this mousse. It's soft, it leaves my hair soft, it holds the curl, and my hair doesn't look like frizz balls. I absolutely love this. 288 or something like that. Um, it's well worth it, and it's supposed to be, defines curls as well as Redken. I don't know, I've never tried the Redken, but I don't even need to try the Redken because I know that this Suave works great. The last thing I got from Target was the Suave Kids Apple Detangler. My child has very, um, I would say she has very fine hair. She's got a lot of hair, but it's very fine and it's always tangly. When I'm getting her ready for, you know, whatever, she's always complaining to me, oh, mommy, put some spray in my hair, put some, um, you know, conditioner in my hair, or whatever. So I got the Suave Kids, and it was, you know, um, two for, you know, it's cheaper than then just buying the one. And this is in the apple, and the apple smelled really good. Okay, so that was the rest of my little boring Target part. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
because we always enjoy seeing haul videos, don't we? I know I do. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have a fabulous week. Uh, Alright guys, I hope you have a fabulous week. Don't forget if you like, no. Alright guys. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you like me, give me a big ol' thumbs up. And don't forget to So, that same time that I get, got the perfume, um, what was I saying? Nope.